Carly, Lauren, Hannah A, Hannah B, Hannah uh, B A, Hannah B S, you're out. Oh. Edith, Nancy, Sandra, Teresa. I'm so sorry, Madison. I have to go with Lauren because she's got a wagon on her. Whoa. Paula, I'm so sorry. I have to go with Edith because she has a nice Volkswagen that she can still drive. Cataract, so. Tonight's 101, we're going bungee jumping, then a private rock concert, then just a bunch of drinks. Edith, would you join me on this one-on-one -on -one date? We're gonna go to bingo and then organize my pills. Organize our pills. Cause my pills don't work. So, tonight's the fantasy suites. <laughs> my heart is beating. Gary suffered a stroke and died in the fantasy suite. All of the blood in his body rushed to his nether regions. Join us in Golden Bats are in paradise, where we have more medics on hand. All right. <laughs> Correct Opinions is back, and oh my goodness, the Golden Bachelor is gold. It's the best show to come on TV. The Bachelor was dying, right? No one cared anymore, I don't think. Was it really dying? It, it was definitely decreasing in yeah. viewership. Gotcha. It was losing momentum. You know, the whole... Uh, they're like, we need to include the black people. And then they're like, whoa, that really blew things up. <laughs> Chris Harrison's out. You know, all that, I think, pe left, people were like, all right. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Um, Once Chris Harrison left, people didn't like it as much. Correct opinions. Correct opinions. This episode is brought to you by Better Hell. Oh, yeah. Do you ever feel like your brain is getting in your own way? Whoa, watch it. Hey. Move it, pal, excuse me. Like, what do you do though, for real? Like, what's good for you, but you just can't do it? Therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back, getting in your way, messing with your head, so you can work for yourself instead of working against yourself. I've done therapy, you've heard me talk about it, better help all the time. It helped me work through a lot of the things I was getting in my own way with. And if you're thinking of starting therapy, give better help a try. Yeah, find a little more peace and a better way to deal with that anxiety. Sometimes you just need to communicate. You just need someone to listen. Make your brain your friend with better help. Visit betterhelp.com slash correct today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash correct. Oh, oh, I just made a sale. Or, oh, no. Oh, shop. Oh, that Derek was played that. sound of a uh, new sale on Shopify. What's your favorite thing to sell? Uh, I, I would like to say um, a nice little pickleball sweatshirt. Oh. It says Friday oh, on it. Oh, yeah. Clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dry fit or no? Cotton? Um, no, just uh, just straight Ooh, cotton. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. What about you? Give me some of that. Follow Luya merch. Get mm -hmm. you some. People are loving it. And we, Jake and I, for all our merch, we use Shopify. It's the commerce platform revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide. Uh, whether you're selling, you know, merch or dogs or I don't know if you sell dogs. Shopify. Bones, uh, bones, candles, <laughs> um, uh, baby you can do teeth. It. Shopify is used by Allbirds, Brooklinen. I mean, some of the biggest companies to even the smallest of companies. Try it now. Uh, it power 10% of all e-commerce in the U.S. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash correct opinions, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash correct opinions now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash correct opinions. ka <laughs> But uh, they come up with this idea, the golden bachelor, elderly people date. I think initially people were like, man, these people... They're insane. They're now that we're gonna milk these old people, it is the what the it's like what the Bachelor is always I think really meant to be. The, it's probably the, what the Bachelor was like twenty years right. ago. Right. Which you yeah. watch the Bachelor because it's like trash. And you're like these wow these women are crazy. These dudes are crazy, and you put on the Golden Bachelor and of course they're seventy and they're they're like half of them are like the love of my life passed and I'm. It's I'm quite genuine. lonely. None and of them I really are trying to become influencers. Yeah, <laughs> so exactly. Like, like, like they don't even. They're gonna have yeah. a bunch of followers. They can't even log in. Or yeah, like, exactly. And they'll be like, "Hey, we want to pay you to make a, a Instagram story," and they're like, "I, I'll pay you to teach me how to do it." Yeah, they can. yeah. And there's like a woman got didn't get a rose, and she's like, "I, there is just lovely women here. Oh, I really wish wow. the best for them." And she's like, "You know, I, I feel like I have hope again to find love in my seventies and." That was worth it. And you're Dang. saying, yeah, they're oh all God. so nice. And the to guy each other and is like, so s nice. He's, he's like, I, I like a girl like did some gesture to him. He's like, I thought that was darling. <laughs> I mean, they're old. They're drinking Ovaltine and stuff. People, are gonna, I don't know what they do. <laughs> but and he every rose ceremony, rose ceremony when you know he's like remove women, he cries. I don't want to do this. Oh yet. wow! 
It it might get tough to watch at the end when he's yeah truly like usually they're like he's like I can't pick between the this OnlyFans girl or this other chick who doesn't have a job and you're like what an idiot and now he's like do I pick Gretel or Edith and it's they're both be, beautiful women it's gonna be horrible at the end of the season it's not gonna be like oh it's gonna be so hard to choose it's gonna be so hard to like remember their names probably and, you know <laughs> yeah. that's what he's struggling with. There's an element of like, I'm, I'm between two women, I love them so much. You're like, well, uh, Gary, 175 and 162. So it's just kind of a, it's like a math thing. It is like, funny, the on. age You know, range. is it worth, you're going to live with one of them twice as long. The One's going to take care of a you. a lot longer, right? So he starts to probably got to think practically. He's 71, 72. There's a few, there's a few people his age. There's a few women 10 years younger. Mm -hmm. It's like, who do you want wiping your rear end, Gary? Yeah. yeah you want your kids them. to do it? Or do you want this hot 60 or two year old? Yeah, to do it? Agatha. Something I, to think about. I feel like they're going to still find a way to spin this like and start drama. Like they're going to start coming up oh, with like yeah. toxic positivity or something. Yeah, like he's yeah. too nice to them. <laughs> it is, it's toxic right. how nice he is to these women. He's leading yeah. them all along too <laughs> yeah. much. This woman says she loves baking and he said he liked that. Well, wait a second. Is he, he pandering to he her? expects that? <laughs> yeah. you know what and they're going to be really... bats, Golden Bats from Paradise, Boca Raton, here oh. we come. <laughs> I don't Raton. know about that. Playing bingo, strip bingo, <laughs> Naples. Strip bingo. I would really like for all these women, they all, I mean, they all look very good for their age. I mm. would like them to kind of break down their beauty habits over the last 60 years for Ooh. me. So I'm they sure. do have an influencer route. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. I mean, they really do. What, who do you think is the most like famous one on the show so far? Let me see if she's got followers on Instagram. Oh, who's leading the charge right now? That's what's special about the show too. He's really enjoying, uh, oh man, what are their names? <laughs> Help me, Gary. I mean, if you just probably typed in like names like Nancy look. or Julie. <laughs> okay, or... I'll just search Nancy on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. The Golden Bachelor cast. Okay, let me pull up the cast here. I Derek, really if you like, pull up the cast, if you just Google it. I think it. Edith. There's a girl named Edith. Is there actually? Okay. She's there not actually. super hot. She's not. She hasn't got a lot of screen time. No. Faith is a Faith's a front runner. Is she he the likes Faith. That's Joan. Oh, he likes Joan. Joan. He likes Joan. She's kind of the young, youngin of the bunch. Um, right, he Faith likes. Let's see oh, that was Natasha her. left. She was a she was a spunky black woman. Or on the way out, she's like, "Can we get some chairs?" Yeah, <laughs> we like, are sixty five okay, years old. That's the other thing. That's a good they point. made these women stay up all night for the rose ceremony. Oh, these man. poor, I couldn't even do that. Also, I was looking at them and I'm like, they clearly had some makeup touch-ups because they all looked flawless still. <laughs> and there's no way. No, scroll down, Susan. <laughs> Susan, he kind of low-key likes Susan. I think she's got a lot of spunk. Edith. <laughs> Edith. Ellen, he really likes Ellen. And Teresa. Faith is I a big one. I found Faith on Instagram. Faith's a big one. Susan and Teresa. Give us some Susan. I will say I'm not, I don't I'm glad no one's really poing this out but I mean he is Sandra still there? Did he did he whittle down to white women pretty quick? No, she's still there. <laughs> she's still there. Good, yeah. good move, Gary. You can't do that, obviously, Susan. Oh, oh yeah. She looks like a Karen. She looks that's scary. She, has... she looks like a like she looks like that woman you go over to your friend's house and she's like. You guys, I've already had a cocktail or two. Who wants one? Oh, yeah. And she's you're fun. like, Susan, <laughs> she's fun. it's 10 a.m. She's like, life's young. Life's short, baby. She was like she's doing that. their hair. She's a hairdresser. She's like, let me. Give she us was Teresa. like doing their hair, getting ready for dates and stuff. Like they're all helping each other. <laughs> it's so sweet. She looks like a velociraptor to me. Teresa. See, he likes oh, Teresa. He does like Teresa. He really? kissed Teresa and she and her like uh, talking to camera. She was like, I haven't kissed a man in eight years. Oh, two and you're presidents. just like, yeah. Try 30, shelter kid. <laughs> How many followers? So I found Faith Martin on Instagram. Okay. Tell Let's me go, who, Faith. How, how many followers do you think she has? And what do you think her Instagram looks like? I bet she has 72,000 followers. I bet it's a lot of, uh, like she has a carousel, but she doesn't realize that it cr crops it <laughs> oh, yeah, with the first that. aspect ratio. So like heads are cut off and uh, maybe there's like a blurry selfie. That's a good guess. So she only has 3,700 followers. Wow. So people haven't hopped on board yet. She is verified and looks like she does own the do domain name, thefaithmartin.com. 
Oh, oh, okay. She's got a grandkid saying, yeah, Mom, we gotta, we gotta get after this. But I her mean, Instagram is very, just like old person. Just like, it looks like it's her recording the TV of her on TV. Like nice. ABC oh, could have got her a clip yeah, of yeah. it. Yeah. She's haven't recorded herself. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Like my mom posted our wedding photo. She took like a photo of a photo on Facebook. Yes. It's like Trey's married. She posted a, <laughs> a screenshot of someone's story reposting a post. So, wow, okay. Wow. Someone <laughs> posted a post to their story. She screenshotted it, posted to her feed. Oh, wow. That's next level faith. That's an inception there. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to even describe. Someone put a post of her on her on their story, and she screenshotted that and then posted it to her Instagram. And then with what, what caption did she use? No caption? Please tell me no caption. Uh, No caption. Yes! Just two, just, oh, they just post. They're like, here's this. You see it. 241 likes five days ago. Do you Give think me, it's, no one's like, they probably don't have a ton of followers because no one probably thinks they even have Instagram. No right. one knows the look. I need to put them yeah. on the, the show. Yeah. What do you think about, what's your vibes on Teresa, Jake? Oh, is she the one with the long dress? Yeah, yeah. What are your vibes? Um, Derek, Teresa? Show me Teresa one more time. Um, Oh, she's got a smile like a gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, could be related. <laughs> Doesn't she? I mean, she looks like um, someone like a like an evil stepmother. Like the first act of the movie, you think, "Oh, she's nice," <laughs> and then like when she starts smiling like that, you're like, "That is kind of creepy." Actually, I could see how she turns evil. Mm. Yeah, so you can see how her going after your dad. Anyway, she's not like a cancer patient or something, is she? Uh, no, none okay. of these girls have anything to. It's just a lot of dead spouses, which is very sad. It's they very, talk about when it. they talk, it's so sad. They're like, like one all woman. Crying they did a. You know, they do the like fun group dates. Like we're gonna do a photo shoot. So they got on pretty outfits and took one girl to a wedding dress, and she's just like, I wore a wedding dress and forty six years ago. I married Mark. Oh and, man! And then he like talks to her really nice. I mean, it's just great. It's great. And they're they get around. And the real bachelor, these girls get around. They're like, I'm not here to make friends. You cussing <laughs> each other out. And so the girls, they just talk. They're like, How am I? How is Gary gonna choose? We there are beautiful women here. Lovely girls. It's amazing. <laughs> What's going to be the big controversy, the big adversity? Because you know that ABC can't help themselves. They're going to yeah. do something. Um, ED, probably. Yeah. All right. Let me. Yeah. We think <laughs> ED, um, maybe there's some sexuality s changes. You know, all oh, of a sudden, the, like Teresa wakes up one morning. Fantasy suites. It's a, they're usually a fantasy because, like, you're so young, so much to live for. You should you really do this? And now it's fantasy. It's like, you, we just can't. Like, we wish we could. <laughs> it's like, but the real bachelor's like, they couldn't because, like, emotionally they shouldn't. And now it's like, we physically. A fantasy That's... suite is more of like a sleep chamber. It's just like, imagine it. And like, oh, that would yeah, be great. Yeah, fantasy suite is, they, they just get, like, even nicer beds and, like, sleep. <laughs> they're like, we slept so thing. good. These women are on bunk beds. And the beds. toilets. Bunk, they the are fantasy on bunk suite, beds. The toilet's just way closer to the bed. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Fantasy suite, they're wearing a diaper. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's they, my fantasy. Oh my God, they're not that old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, they're 61. Like, they're like, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're fantasy. They just get upgraded like sleep, sleep apnea masks. Yeah. Like, finally. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's got to be some apnea masks in the mansion. They haven't touched on that. Well, I mean, get in the fantasy sure suite, they get those things tangled up. <laughs> it will be funny when they start to bring in the fantasy suites, like what the women. Or the, the guy might be self-conscious about whether it's like, yeah, I have sleep apnea or like I have fake teeth or just like the weird things that might come out. Because like, most bachelors, they are, there's always like at least like one virgin. Yeah. You know, it's funny, you know, us shelter people, they're always like so embarrassed. You're like, is this that big a deal? Yeah. I'm afraid to tell them that I've, that I've respected myself my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> um, but now, you know, you're not going to have that here. These women have lived life. Yeah. They're like, I have so many kids. I don't even know. Grandkids. That's gonna be fun when they start to bring their kids onto the pickleball. show, bring their grandkids. Oh yeah, pickleball. I'm 100 oh, yeah. filming oh, yeah. with one of these pickleballers. Ooh, meet the family's gonna hit way different. Yeah, like yeah. I'm gonna ask your father's blessing. She's like, Let's drive to the cemetery. You could talk to his ashes. Yeah, <laughs> best I can do. You one gotta ask the, the kids for. Oh, he's gonna ask some kids some permission. woman's son. The yeah. Oh my gosh. Dude. Yeah. Oh my also, gosh. one of the women does her. You know, their job title is co pickleball captain. Oh, no. easy, Jake. I think that's he's married. What yeah. I am. <laughs> I think I have that same job title. Huh? That's cool. I almost said, How do you make a living doing that? And I was like, I think that's what I'm doing. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah explain that to me. Uh, so 
That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Tune in. I'm going to keep watching. You got, you and Rachel. I need to. She, uh, she'd obviously would love it. Yeah. You'd get fired yeah. up. I don't even like the re- regular Bachelor. But this. But this is so she got, Because she couldn't. She applied four times. I never <laughs> applied. <laughs> Does this get you excited to get old? I mean, you yeah, know, they I do. Can... They're all they have so much life left to live. Oh, it yeah. is nice. Um, so, yeah, check that out, show out. My goodness. It's fantastic. We just got back from uh, good shows. We're about to go back out to get tickets. West Palm and Key West. Yeah. Key West. Fun. Have you ever been to Key West? No. Never have. It's way down there, though. I popped by one time on a cruise in college. It's just. The, it's like a few miles, square miles. It's just, you Nothing. know, hotels, beaches. Yeah. Are you guys driving down there? We're from- going to fly. <laughs> well, from <laughs> oh. To Key West from West Palm Beach. Yeah, yeah. We're going to drive from <laughs> Palm Beach to Key West. Really? Uh, I've heard it. There's like a, it's called the Seven Mile Bridge. Yeah. Seven miles it. of, that's going to freak me out, to be honest. <laughs> I drove from, I drove it um, in the middle of the night, actually. That's a little freakier. <laughs> oh my God. Could you even tell? Um, I mean, I mean, I think I could. Yeah, I don't know. I was drunk. I was, <laughs> I was not drunk. I was in but, the backseat. Um, yeah, that's actually, I have a pretty good story about, about leaving Key West, actually. You do? Uh-huh. Well, should we, okay, should we save it? Oh, we're doing the si- end of the episode. Can we save it? We're due for a Katie story in under 30 seconds. Okay, yeah. All right, we're gonna do that. Um, speaking of segments? getting freaked out, that just reminded me, we were all together this past weekend, you know, Derek's there, and we got... Isaac, Merch, Tour Manager Tom, Alan, Keyboardist, DJ Michael. I mean, it's a full crew. We're going out. We're having fun. And we're trying to find this like bar that we're trying to get to, this restaurant. And we, we're in parking garages. We're in these elevators. We get in one elevator. And it's like immediate, <laughs> it's like a 85-degree elevator. So it's like, oh, that's pretty warm. But hey, you know, we'll get there soon. And every floor we're trying to get to is just a different parking garage. It's starting to get pretty warm in there. I leave. I'm like, I'm going to find my way. Everyone's like, Jake, get back in here. I was like, all right, fine. Get back in the cramped elevator. And then someone cracks a joke. It's like, man, this would be the worst one of all time to get stuck in. And we get to the next floor. And it's like, g-g-g-g. <laughs> it is not opening and Trey was like I'm about to lose it <laughs> you ever been on an elevator and it, it hits the floor and you could tell yes and it's like it's a good five to ten seconds <laughs> it's like, a long time is this door gonna open <laughs> and it finally did dude I, I I kept it together that is I fully believe if there was ever a place I would just have a breakdown it'd be stuck <laughs> in an elevator for some reason hot phoenix outside especially it was yes. eight dudes hot there was no place michael. to like <laughs> yeah <laughs> dj michael just hollering it was i got oh. one time i was on an elevator and it's like and a that type of elevator where no, no one's coming across this elevator no. we were yeah. like we were <laughs> trying to find this place scary. and yeah. like we could have been a while <laughs> But I, I was in one that was a safe. I was in a hospital. I was on the elevator with a doctor that I was working with. And it got to the floor and just all the lights went off. It went pitch Ooh, black in the elevator. The like seven mile bridge. And I, it was a doctor that was like a little bit, very, very good at his job, a little socially awkward. And I was like, what are we going to talk about? Oh, it's just yeah. you two in there? Yeah. She's like, I'm going to have to kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> this is his fantasy suite. <laughs> Ew. Oh, okay. that, <laughs> went, that went in that a was wrong that was a, We were watching <laughs> Love is Blind. We, dude, when you become a parent and you just like are tired, we don't watch any shows that were uh, can, that are like stressful. Any, any <laughs> stressful or contain like mental thoughts. She's just like, just put, Love is Blind. They they get away from the pods and they're meeting a person. You could you could tell it's just awkward, so they just keep smooching. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> they like don't want to have to talk, so like I guess we'll just keep kissing. So you so what how, did you get stuck? I mean, for like a couple minutes, but it was a long couple minutes. <laughs> I miss being a kid. I think about this when like flying with Thomas and he's just on the plane having a time of his life. He's not nervous. I had a phase where yeah. I was nervous. Like I, every time I landed, I was like, huh. I was like, why did that? Why did I do that? A couple of times when we've landed, I, the bumps and the loud noise, he has kind of, he's like, ah. <laughs> but I, as, <laughs> when you're a kid, I didn't have stress until I was an adult. What happens That's in true. our, we were on a travel basketball team. And we all got on a, you know, packed into an elevator and we're like, <laughs> and we were just you jumping, jumping. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and then the doors open and it was just like a metal wall and we were like ah! <laughs> <laughs> I bet your parents were like freaking and out and then I've just like it recorrected but it's cr- <laughs> it's funny <laughs> and we were like what if we got stuck that'd be hilarious we just hang out in here yeah, and as an adult I would lose my mind 
It was so funny because someone cracks a joke like, what if we got stuck? And then after that, it starts to like make noise and then no one says anything yeah. for like three seconds. We're all thinking, oh my God. I was really bummed. That was after the Phoenix show. Phoenix, <clears throat> the biggest show yet. Thank you, Phoenix. That's cool. Really special, really fun. Uh, gave you all a surprise. Had the, had the gospel choir come out. Yeah. And another comedian was in town at the comedy club down the road and we came across it. One of my favorites. Uh, Would love to see him. Sam Morrill. Yeah, I was like, how f- fun he's probably got he probably just got on stage we walk up and they're like act's already starting we're like yeah we get, we're like oh yeah we'll, i'm down we're down to like pay full price mm-hmm. slide in the back he's like can't do that i just i don't and there's no way the comedian that's his rule it's like the venue's rule i'm like yeah if, if i would if i it's my show and they're like hey just so you know we did have like 15 paying customers come up uh, don't I mean, worry, we turned him down. Don't worry, we turned yeah. him away. <laughs> like I would <clears throat> sneak him, yeah, sit him quietly in the back if it's yeah. not sold out. I'd like that. More people, yeah, more money. So I was like, we went somewhere, had a nice time, Did had you a, a DM food. Him him. It's funny. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I should let him know, but no, I'm not. <laughs> hey man, just so you know. So I, what's your Venmo? <laughs> yeah, it would have been really fun to see him. It worked out so perfectly. He's in town, we're in town, and then yeah, kind of a buzzkill. But we wandered our way to a parking garage and had ourselves a night. <laughs> we sure did. Then Long Beach, um, oh, we were just talking. Been very lucky over the years with no travel nightmares. Finally had it. Rough weekend for your boy, but uh, we'll, we'll save that for the triggered segment, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's get to so, any more, any, anything else on the weekend? I don't think so. I think it's... Good uh, times, good vibes. Yeah, good to have Family Man out there with us. Yep. Filming it's everything. so much fun. Good, man. <clears throat> Derek's out there doing his thing. Don't look him in the eyes. You see him. <laughs> it's a great weekend. Uh, oh, yeah. Fallelujah Follow video was out. Yeah, how's that doing? Great. Um, people love it. It's uh, it's just fun to see how it's evolved and people are liking the merch. So spread the Fallelujah message. People appreciate the cinematics. Derek killed it with the directing and cinematography. So it was fun. Yeah, that is fun. Um, all right. What do we... What videos we got? What do you got for us, Jake? Uh, these have been sent to me, I assume, by Rectis. Uh, people just DM me and say, Thank you, Rectis. You need to put this on Correct Opinions. And then I watch the first five seconds of it, and I say, Yeah, probably should. So I don't really know what most of these are. But Smart. This, I, I trust the Rectis. You gotta go in blind. Good, honest reaction. Christian music in the 70s. And you're still looking for the perfect play. Did it just mention Yeah. Rock and roll will set you free, honey. Till you're half insane A broken needle in your purple vein Why don't you look into Jesus He got the answer Oh my gosh That kind of sounds good though Who is that? <laughs> what artist is that? Gotta read I love that The caption says Larry Norman was wild So maybe Larry Norman Larry Norman. All right, Larry was this being performed in a church? <laughs> I don't know. I love, that Valentine's was old. Day. <laughs> I mean, my Grammy would, yeah, vibe. That was the old school. My Grammy was like, I mean, if you don't know Jesus, you're clearly getting STDs and shooting up to rub. <laughs> yeah. That's the only other option. Uh, yeah, I think that vibe, song is called Why Don't You Look Into Jesus? And yeah, it's just like, wow. it's like an anti gonorrhea message, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah, Dare sponsored it. <laughs> yeah, they kind of like our a school did it. Scare you straight, three minutes at a time via song. We, you know, that is kind of a dying uh, branding. That's kind of a bummer. You know, you don't see a lot of those uh, commercials or stuff like, uh, "Hey, how's it sound to burn for eternity?" <laughs> you don't want that to happen. <clears throat> Follow me. It's like the, you know, the, the they're scare. They're on the street corners. You, I mean, you, yeah. I mean, you know, we're out. You drive through certain parts of Missouri. You got them out there on billboards. Oh yeah, yeah love a good yeah. billboard. Burn or, or yeah, turn or burn. That'd be a funny, that'd be a funny video. Let's get this billboard here saved thousands of lives. <laughs> people, do we just have people pulling over? What's this mean? The uh, I feel like the uh, what was it? The big tobacco, the anti-tobacco company, whatever they were uh, called. They were very like scare you straight commercials. Like yeah, this is your lungs, or like this is what you'll turn into, or like this is the kid who didn't smoke cigarettes. This is the kid who did. Like. They had some kind of crazy commercials. I know. And it's like people are just ripping packs of cigarettes. They're they're probably not people who are like really health conscious anyway. Mm-hmm. They're they're bad boys. Is it like truth? You know, so if you're like, oh, yeah. if this makes me die, this is gonna be I'm living life on the edge. This cool. is sick. I'm yeah. edgy. 
Yeah, uh, truth.org or whatever. Yeah. I always wonder how who's funding this. Uh, like you'll see a commercial for like integrity, pass it on. It's like who who is in yeah, charge of is, integrity? Who is how are they profitable? <laughs> who's funding who's, characteristics? A lobbyist. <laughs> lobbyist. Just huh? integrity yeah. lobbyist. Yeah, Family. They, Isn't they lobby time? all the senators Family. and congressmen. They're like, we need integrity. We need more integrity. Yeah. How do we get the word out? Mm -hmm. Commercial on NBC Super should Bowl, do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the LDS church did like half of them. Oh really? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Good for them. I just uh LD, I saw, not to fully divert, but I watched the Boy Scouts uh, Netflix talk. Oh, LDS left the Boy Scouts. Yeah. You know, you know all this details. I they was, used to I be was an Eagle Scout. You were an Eagle Scout. Yeah. I mean, still are, right? Or do you, oh, yeah. you left it? Once you, a Marine, once an Eagle Scout, always a Marine or something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> once, uh, what was their relationship? Boy Scouts and LDS. It was like um, a huge chunk of the Boy Scouts. They were really there. controlled a lot of it, and oh. then I guess they, you know, they had the whole. Uh, They've well, that's so document. A lot's come out of how they've quieted a lot of you know assault things, stuff. little Catholic churchy stuff, gotcha. and then you know then they had a whole they had the whole ordeal. I don't know how many years ago where they're like gay people can't be in this, and then over time they're like, hey, okay, we didn't mean that because that Bi makes people really mad now. <laughs> the Bible changed, and then, but then the church is like, the Mormon church is like, we're gonna get out of here. There's a lot of that. Gotcha. That sounds awesome. Going on, but I. <laughs> I was never part of it, not because of any kind of gay things or being assaulted or anything. It's just I wasn't a dork. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was good at sports. I was never part of it because I didn't uh, like Girl Scouts. I got to sell cookies. You I were in Girl Scouts? Cookies. No, no. But that was like intriguing. Boy Scouts. <laughs> What do I, I was in Girl Scouts. You got for the to cookies. Go right, Boy go Scout. camping as a Boy Scout, right? You got to Girl Scouts. Make you got to little cars, right, for you, downhill the Pinewood derby, derby races. Was yep. awesome. There you go. So it's so weird, though, the going Derby. straight from Boy Scout camp to basketball camp. The, the <laughs> cultural shock right. of, like, the homeschooled kids. What's wrong with your like, skin? Yeah. What? And, like, <laughs> Central St. Louis High School or Why is, is like my that. coach not going to spend the night with me? I'm confused. <laughs> I don't get what's happening. Uh, coach, you still need to tuck me in. Coach. <laughs> not sure how you expect me to be good at basketball when you're not going to... I was a Scratch my bag. I did Girl Scouts one year. I was oh. a brownie. So that's like the, oh. the youngest you can be to be a Girl Scout. You're like, oh, like in a, kindergarten. Like a yellow belt or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You but you're called a brownie. And <laughs> how was that? Um, I wasn't very involved. I do remember, you know, they have the vests, right? Where you yeah. get the little patches on it. And yeah. so I was, you know, I was a very achievement oriented little girl. I <laughs> wanted the patches. So me and my friend would spend days, you know, we'd, we'd get together and we'd, we'd just go through the checklist. Like, we got we this need? patch, we got this patch, we got, you know. Wow. What was, yeah. the, what was the patch you're most proud of? Um, how old are you? Are you five? How, I was how young like, is this? I was like six, <laughs> okay. yes. I mean, they think about you when you're six. The things that you had to do to get patches were like, don't remember. Make a healthy snack. <laughs> uh, <laughs> one of them was like it wasn't like raise be, be quiet million. for an hour one of them was like <laughs> tread water for five minutes and we did that at the lake and we were like okay time us you know <laughs> that's cute that's I do lake. gotta be honest it just pops in my head I didn't do Boy Scouts but I did I did like Christian Boy Scouts I mean Boy Scouts was a Christian organization but even more you know Awanas oh, familiar yeah. with it but never did it Awanas. <clears throat> it was very, you got patches for like Bible verse memorization oh. and stuff. Dude. Tread water while memorizing scripture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got a patch. Yeah. Well, never walked on it. That, <laughs> that was going to be quite a patch. That would have been a big patch. We had some merit badges that were like really hard to get, like environmental science. It took a lot of effort. But then we had. I do know Eagle Scout is like a lot of work. I had a buddy who did it. But then we had some he was like also dork, fingerprinting, but. which all you had to do was get your fingerprints at the police station. So it was a way for them to collect all of our <laughs> stuff. Oh, my God. What? So, yeah, that's all you had to do to get your fingerprinting merit badge. <laughs> like, all right, 23 and Me badge, yeah. Uh, yeah. DNA sample badge, build, fingerprint yeah. badge. Build a house, okay? Now <laughs> Raise record yourself in funding. saying something awful and send it to us. <laughs> <laughs> Just do, so we know you. you blackmail badge. Yeah, yeah. blackmail badge. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Better Help. You guys know we love Better Help. They support us, they sponsor us. I think John Chris might have used him a little bit. <laughs> they work, man. That was it. That was uncalled for. He caught a stray there. <laughs> Love you, John. Um, no, I've done therapy. I got my problems. We all got our problems. And uh, therapy can really help you work through it. I'm a big fan. You should try better help. Do you ever feel like your brain is getting in your own way? Whoa! Watch it. Hey! 
move it, pal. Excuse me. You know what I mean? Like, what do you do though? For real? Like what's good for you, but you just can't do it. Therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back, getting in your way, messing with your head. So you can work for yourself instead of working against yourself. You feel me? I've done therapy. You've heard me talk about it. Better help all the time. And, uh, yeah, I, I just, it helped me work through a lot of the things I was getting in my own way with. That's right. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Uh, it's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, um, you know, suited to your schedule. Uh, so just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash correct today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp. H E L P dot com slash correct. Well, hey, what? Whose orders up? What oh. the frick was that? Oh, we you know what that was? That was the sound of a new sale on Shopify. Whew. Yes, we love Shopify. We use it. If you have e commerce, you better use it too, baby. Uh, Shopify. I'm using Shopify for all the Follow Lulu merch. Yeah. Thanks for the love, y'all. It's so fun to check Shopify and see so many people buying it and enjoying it and getting fired up. I, I get a. As far as I'm concerned, Shopify should be called dopamine because when I get a little Shopify notification, yeah, it's like, that's fun. Someone just bought a pickleball shirt for me. Couldn't agree more. Love Shopify. Uh, We both use it and it's, it's the commerce platform revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide. Uh, whether you're selling whatever, we're selling merch. Maybe you're selling knickknacks, knick-knack, trinkets, who's he what's buns. it, who's could do's, who's could don't. Uh, you can sell them on there if, as long as it's legal. Which, Whistling you know, kitty chasers. I think they're releasing new rules on the body. <laughs> um, Shopify is the internet's best converting checkout to help you turn them from browsers to buyers. Shopify powers 10% of all e commerce in the US, and Shopify is truly a global force powering all birds. Ever heard of it? Rothy's in Brooklyn. And, oh, wow. I mean, huge business to the smallest business use Shopify. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at Shopify.com slash correct opinions, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash correct opinions now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash correct opinions. ka <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, what, uh, oh, go to, so I send in this. This is, uh, this is a new account I've been following. This guy's named Mason Smith. Big account on TikTok, and he's the ultimate dad. He, he records himself being the perfect dad. Oh, great. And it's making, it's making us... Normal dads look bad out here. Okay. You play one of these. POV, you're a husband, and this is randomly surprising your wife with something she's it. had on her wish list. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So oh, no, go, pause it. Pause it. Yeah, go back. Yeah, this Did you see this? How annoying is this? Oh, wow. How annoying is this? Okay. He runs in the house. He takes his... Sh- yeah. He takes his shoes off every single time he goes in. So house. he's okay, making okay. trips in and out the door, and each time he puts his shoes on and off. And they're not so slides. Annoying. They're tennis shoes. <laughs> And we, oh, I'm annoyed like, too by how much he's smiling yeah, uh, doing yeah. the dishes. He's cleaning first. Stop smiling so much, Stop dude. Smiling, dude. This he's is driving me crazy. Flowers in a vase. Stop, dude. His eyebrows are trying. I saw me the nuts. comments where they're like, "Wow, he knows to cut off the ends of the flowers we're putting in the vase." He's now opening. Okay. Oh, he's opening a big mirror. Now he's getting credit for everything. Okay, uh, okay. not the, not the frolicking. <laughs> <laughs> big smile. We got Stop. He's made little. Custom images of the family. Little, like, it's just caricatures it's her of. in an open casket. That's weird. <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> yeah, we just we just like commentate. It's not it's just not even what he's doing at all. <laughs> oh, oh, he's oh, a, a note, note that says on it. "Love you to the moon and back." Well, that's not even that far. That's so. not even. It's not as far as we originally thought. <laughs> Humans have been there, um, so it's possible. They have their shoes on the house. Just want to say that. And now oh his shoes gosh. are on. <laughs> He did it just for the That's video. That's a great detail. That's a great detail. What it, that house is unbelievable. That's what does nice. he do? Yeah. Do you guys follow these people. His shoes what, are on now. All the shoes are on. This little snot-nosed kid, her shoes are on. <laughs> what do you guys know about this? these people? Where do they live? What do they do for I don't. I can't I don't find anything out. Any play, just play the next one while we're talking. Information. He, he goes outside every morning and makes them like a full-fledged breakfast. And you've seen the pancake art? He does pancake art. Where he they does like real pancake art with different artist. colors. Is that where the pancake itself is in the shape of something crazy? Oh, it's like you use different colored. Oh yes, mixes. Dark brown, and it's light like brown. a legit work of art. Keeps using copyright. POV. Music. You're a dad, and this is how you want to spend every morning for the rest of your life. Really? Yeah, me too. Do you not have a job? <laughs> Man, 
I tell you what, people have you okay. should have kids. It is awesome, but he's making it look way better. <laughs> <laughs> They're just, the kids are five fiving and cheesing as he makes breakfast. The real one is they lean over and touch the griddle and they're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, we gotta go to the hospital now. Oh, here he goes making the art. So he's also like a really good artist, I guess. Pancake yeah. specialty. I mean, they're having such. I mean, it's a beautiful day. It's perfect. It's. I like how it's um, probably. You know, first thing in the morning, and the girls are also already dressed in cute little outfits. Yeah, this that's, is like a sitcom that's breakfast. That's not, what time yeah. Is this? <laughs> hmm. this is like He's doing so, some egg this, tricks, I'm like a hibachi saying. chef. It's equivalent of Full House in the 90s, I feel like. Yeah, 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 yeah. really yeah. Bob Saget off camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this guy, he goes up late at night, he just starts talking. <laughs> Horrible stuff. Yeah, don't catch him at an open mic. No, no, no. <laughs> this guy's got some stuff. To I think that it these pancakes are Paw Patrol. Uh, bluey. Paw Patrol. Oh, Bluey. Oh, bluey. Sorry, yeah. just, sorry, my yeah, bad. That was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just guess the oh, first dog. No, sorry, you might oh. be right. Actually, oh, I, oh, I, oh, you're right. Wow, <laughs> it's Paw I'm so sorry. What's Paw Patrol? I don't. I, I don't know. It's just like a dog Chase? cartoon. That's all I really know. What, Derek? Do you like Bluey or Paw Patrol more? Oh, Paw Patrol way better. Or no, Bluey way better. Like that. Now they have the shoes off and they're outside. Nothing like that. What's uh, what's the difference between Bluey and Paw Patrol? What what's the heart behind each show? <laughs> Bluey has soul. Uh, Bluey's got <laughs> like, soul, yeah. Well, yeah, so, dogs don't really have souls, so that makes sense. Paw Patrol isn't Bluey a dog? <laughs> Dang it! Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bluey, Bluey is adults a can watch and p get something out of it. Paw Patrol, you're just watching Chase solve some crime that's not Bluey's really that like, crime. Bluey's related like, to like Pixar, maybe, where it's like the adults can kind of think it's fun. And the other one is not Australian. Uh, is not the case like all Pixar movies have like hidden like innuendos and stuff that adults think are funny. Yeah, we're gonna show the kids SpongeBob, man. Bring that back. I'm wearing. I'm literally wearing SpongeBob underwear right now. Underboy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Underpants. <laughs> SpongeBob underpants. I wish he was kidding. Katie, have you seen Bluey yet? Like, wow. No, I, I haven't know. really seen any of the kid shows yet. Check them out. Other than Miss Rachel, my nephew had that on. Oh, do y'all do Miss Rachel, Derek? We strictly bluey. Like it's like for oh. people really like the Miss Rachel thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So it kind of freaked me out. Have another woman raise your kid? <laughs> I think she's raising them. I don't know. She was teaching like sign language and helping with speech. I think sign language. Mm -hmm. That way no, they we're not teaching them. Though. Yeah, <laughs> she's teaching them your kids to talk without you being able to understand it. Talk mm. behind your back. They do little things like more and like thank you and stuff like that. Like I'm like a chimp. <laughs> no, it's just like they can't talk. They use but they to can... use tools. Right. It's, it's supposed to be helpful because they, they can't feces. talk yet, but they can use their hands. Yeah, like a chimp was literally a perfect analogy. That'd be funny to walk in <laughs> and she is trying to raise your kids. Like you leave the room. Yeah, I'll just put Miss Rachel on. You come back in and she's somehow like spanking your kids. <laughs> Bend over. Bend How over. are you doing this? Harder? Through the TV. Yeah. Hit Dream. yourself. <laughs> you were bad. Getting them in trouble. That's the Patreon, dude. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'll, for 10 bucks a month, I'll literally raise your child. <laughs> like, okay. We Just put in front big, of the screen for an hour. We day. do a big Zoom. Um, uh, yeah, that's crazy. All that YouTube content, it educational is. stuff. Uh, but Mason, that's that's one of those things like, he's not hurting anybody, but he's kind of hurting me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that wasn't fun to watch. I mean, I'm going to show that to Thomas and he'll kind of have some unmet expectations. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that at all. <laughs> it's like the. I watched a bunch of cooking TikTok videos and they, especially this time of year, they cook, there's music, there's wine, it's beautiful setting. You're like, cooking looks so peaceful. And you do it yourself and you're like, I gotta, I gotta wash all this. Yeah. There's food on the ground now. I have everything but one ingredient. That's annoying. Yeah. Cooking, I, I do enjoy it, but it you never, do. I really do, but it never meets the expectations of like, really? This, it does sometimes, but the, it's gonna be a perfectly peaceful experience. And you're like, mm -hmm. well, I'm kind of washing it. It's kind of in a hurry. Oh, I gotta, I'm kind of balancing some timers here. It's, they make it look so peaceful. I say, I will say your your peace um, level has you've gotten better at it. When you first started cooking, you were like, "I love <sighs> I love cooking." I was like <laughs> that meme, like that kid on the show. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I didn't even want to talk to Sorry, him. Sorry, Gordon. I was like, this is really stressful, and I don't want to be Get around. Get out of my kitchen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're a lot. You're it's a lot more peaceful now. I made some. It's soup season. I'm a big soup guy. I made some last night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very good. What you know about lentils? They are, hold on, I got this. They're like slimy, healthy rice. No, that's um, that's something else with a Z. <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, I got this. Lentil is like some. I remember one time I had like a 
almost like a hacky sack or something. And someone's like, you know what's in there? Lentils. Lentils. Sometimes they're inside That's of it. stuff. Boom. <laughs> okay. Boom. Nailed it. Now, the other thing I'm thinking of, the slimy rice. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. What's My that called? My tummy's a hacky sack right now. <laughs> <laughs> slimy rice? Slimy it's rice. like slimy, slimy like rice. more of a, like this shape of rice. Orzo? Bingo. Ooh. <laughs> slimy nice, rice. Katie. Slimy healthy rice. Slimy. Uh, <laughs> it's just pasta. That, it's just pasta. Whoa. It's not okay, just one pasta. One step at a time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not just pasta. <laughs> That's funny. Um, what are lentils? Or did I already kind of nail it? You nailed it. They're, the are they legumes? Side. Yeah, I think so. You know what those are? They're they're, they're like a... Technically a peanut. They're a legume. legume or something, right? Yeah. Legumes are beans. Oh, so they're beans. No. Mm. <laughs> yes. Are beans... Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Come on, Katie. Beans Sorry, I was getting are... confused with... Beans, peas, lentils, and peanuts, technically, yeah, are legumes. Peanuts. They're typically very high in fiber, potassium, iron, magnesium, protein. Mm-hmm. So Do they have any flavor to them or whatever? No. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you just blend them up so it's like creamy soup texture, and then you just hammer it with things. That is, they are, I mean, they truly have no flavor. They're yet. just in there to add what fiber? So There's some nice. Yeah. They do protein, have good protein and okay. stuff. fiber. Yeah. Healthy. Okay. Hammer with salt, some spices. Yeah, it's a little bonus. Lemon juice. Good to go. Mm-hmm. Good I'll, to go. I'll mention it to Rachel. See if she's ever heard of these lentils. Yeah. <laughs> she, she's like, she's making it all up. <laughs> yeah. How's Coach Pena today? Do you know about lentils? <laughs> You've been hiding it from me? Yeah. <laughs> I just learned about this. What is this? I will say I'm in a big uh, Brussels sprouts uh, phase of my life right now. Who would have thought? Mm-hmm. Uh, Ra- does Rachel make a mean Brussel? She puts a ton of salt and garlic and butter on them. So well, that yeah. makes them good. That yeah. makes them awesome. Trey like banned me from making them. He was like, <laughs> he's like, we eat wow. these too much. I like making them like once a week. I no, you definitely like- were. You were firing up the Brussels a lot. They're good. Well, you were. She throws a little turkey bacon in there. That's great. Oh, okay. It's, it's not flavor. healthy at all anymore. I right, can't yeah, eat yeah. them right now. So. You ever had Brussels sprouts at a restaurant? Yes. Yeah, have those up? You'll, they'll, the menu will be like bacon, balsamic, fried Brussels sprouts. And you're like, I love Brussels sprouts. Yeah. But you <laughs> yeah. just, just soaked in butter. And, yeah. And it's great. Sometimes you get really good ones. Brookridge, they have uh, crispy Brussels sprouts. Those are great. But sometimes oh, you feel like out. someone is like saying like, yeah, salted, buttered Brussels sprouts. And you're like, dang it, these taste healthy. These taste like how they're supposed to. That's all I, I want. In college, I was, yeah, trying to be healthy and stuff, but I was in college. So I really ate a lot of um, frozen, like, steam in bag Brussels sprouts. Uh, now those I had are... te- It took me years to teach Casey how to... Katie. I say Casey? You did. my sister's name. Yikes. <laughs> it's very close. I do that a lot. Is that weird? <laughs> Rexies, is that weird? Yes, you are with me. One time on our wedding <laughs> night. One time. Ew. And I've never lifted down. Ew. <laughs> it's very similar. I, I, like, spent, I spent 20 years with her. I feel like it's always like when you're when you're like talking to me like you would like your sister. You're like, Casey, let me tell you this. <laughs> yeah. When I'm giving her noogies. <laughs> Swirlies. Swirlies. Swirlies, yeah. I always say uh, her. Yeah. No, but they were like, I mean, they were kind of a, a, like soggy, steamed. Brussels sprouts, so yeah, I'm she, sure you would really pre- really like those. Oh, soggy and they doesn't smell good. You know, they mm. they got to be crispy. Yeah. Uh, let's get to some fan stuff. Send in your videos, your questions to our email, correct at treykennedy.com. Thank you guys for all the love. We had uh, buddy John Christ on last weekend. People love to interview. Lots of fun YouTube comments. Um, people said, uh, what they say? What? Love having the, these interviews more. The really, really people still really <laughs> hammering us on the influencer interviews. <laughs> hey, <clears throat> these are our friends and they're good bloggers. Follow them. Um, but they loved having him on. Said they they missed the Be Like videos. Yeah. I was proud to put out Girls Dream Fall Be Like. <laughs> it was a tradition unlike any other. Um, people said John's my favorite comedian. Uh, someone said Trey missed an opportunity to sponsor John's um, mental health stuff with today's episode sponsored by Better Health. <laughs> Cross my mind. One of the best pods so far. Thank you, Mitch. And um, Jake with the gift of lice from the neighbors. That I don't remember. I saw several comments about that and I could not figure the out what they were talking about. Of lice. That was, from, that was my story from Living in Wilmington. But they oh. talked about it. 
Yeah. That's... Oh. Well, hey, listen better. Yeah, you're right. All right. Yeah. We <laughs> Sorry, can't, our we voices also... sound really similar. Okay? <laughs> yeah, so I guess so. I guess yeah. It got confusing. A lot of people still th- <laughs> realizing we're two different people, which is cool. <laughs> Um, yeah, is, I love when people show me his videos still. They're like, I really like this video your husband did. Wow. Weird. Not my husband. Um, black woman here. I love Jason Aldean. I was not offended at all by Small Town. Okay. So. Thanks. Thanks for chiming in. Good to know. We posted a uh, little <laughs> clip of it on Instagram this morning, and it's about John kind of being canceled. So I was like, let's see the comments, see if everyone's being nice. There is one comment so far. It says, couldn't care less about his personal life. But never landing a joke should be reason enough. So oh, nice! <laughs> Thanks oh for the gosh. comment. Does that guy? Are you, do you listen to this podcast? Wow, it's brutal. Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome when people just love just being mean. Yeah, it's awesome. you, at some level, you're kind of like that. Nah, keep it coming. It's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, Megan wrote into the uh, email. Thank you, Megan. Hey, Dra- hey, Drake. She didn't say that. <laughs> Hi, Trey, Jake, Katie, Family Man, and Thomas. Just want to say thanks for the week last on the pod. You're welcome. Uh, Katie, I also cannot tell a story in 30 seconds. It's too much pressure. I get it. All the details feel important. Yep. Okay. But uh, it's funny. This email is quite long. So. <laughs> uh, she loves all the videos. Thank you so much. Um, my sons are just like Maddox. So spot on. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, question one. Trey, will you ever have your mom and or dad on the pod? I'd love to meet people who raise you. Ooh, is that what the people want? Could be That's fun. kind of fun. Uh, two. What are your thoughts on the trendy free people jumpsuit attached is a picture. If Katie wears them, then I love it. If not, <laughs> my correct opinion is that they look like Aladdin pants. <laughs> That's um, funny she said Please that. weigh in. So thank you, Megan, from Gilbert, Arizona. Okay. Oh, Gilbert. Mormon. Mormon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she says, I, I heard this, some shade you threw at Gilbert in your Jane Williamson interview. <laughs> well, we no, we love Gilbert. We need to do a show there, really. Is Gilbert close to Mason? Like Phoenix? Phoenix? Yeah. 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 I think I said right. good things about hope Gilbert. You, yeah, hope I you're got there. stranded on a no, flight. Sure it's great. The people in Gilbert took me in. All right, so this wow. is the jumpsuit in question. Ready for it? Jake, have you seen these? No, I'm excited. Oh, I have yeah. seen those. Mm-hmm. Um, normally, the Honest girls thoughts. don't look like that who are wearing them. I will say that. <laughs> that is <laughs> different. She does, she does look like uh, a Jasmine. Yeah. From Aladdin. Ja- well, enhanced. Uh, what, um, are you, <laughs> what are your honest thoughts on this? When you see a girl in that, you're like, oh, I want to, there's enough room for me in there. Like, <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Aladdin pants is a funny, like, comparison. I feel like I almost get kangaroo vibes. Like, there is an entire, like. There's a pouch. Pouch, like, uterus area in there <laughs> that you could hang out in. Um, I don't think they're the worst thing that's going on right now in fashion. Um, do you, What is? Oh, uh, mm, good question. I would say, like. Super colored hair. <laughs> a girl came out to the airport and just. She simply just went, what order are you? Because it's Southwest. And I looked up, just turquoise hair. Yep. That's hard. And I was just like, oh, I don't. Like, people with who dye their hair, it's, I don't, I shouldn't say it. I actually love it. Because, like, it's nice to know, like, immediately I don't want to talk to you. Does that make sense? Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> that we, like, wouldn't get along. Okay. It's just like, what? Immediately I know we have nothing in common. <laughs> right? Okay. What do you think of these? Um... <clears throat> It's funny. I actually have looked at them before because I thought that they would it would be a really nice um, like maternity per, maternity yeah. thing mm. slash like postpartum. You just put Thomas in there. Hide the pouch. Hang around <laughs> you, down there. Like, it's, there's a plenty of room for the stomach, you see. Um, but I never actually I, I it's like I would be like, yeah, this looks comfy. And then I would go to buy it and be like, I just don't think this is me. I just feel I like think it, it would make you look because you're so tall. I was gonna talk like about that. Don't women, yeah. Like <laughs> don't women want to accentuate their long legs? I feel like you'd just look like six four and like yeah. Don't go outside with if little it's baby breezy. legs. Yeah, <laughs> it's swept away. It just I don't know if it's really flattering. I, I'm out on them. I'm it's, in on it's Aladdin pants. Not meant don't to need be it. Flattering. It's definitely not. It is meant for comfort. That's for sure. Mm. So wow. Before we brought that up, I was gonna say I think this is a short girl outfit. I think that. That oh. can look fun. Oh, oh okay. I yeah, I don't think it's a tall girl outfit. It's way Agreed. too much fabric blowing in the wind. Oh. Agreed. Yeah, oh. short girl outfit. Yeah, like a kite you would take off. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Short girls. <laughs> Whoa, is that girl parasailing? No. Oh, she's oh. in the free people jumpsuit. Mm. Oh wow, I thought she was windsurfing. <laughs> rope her down, <laughs> taking off. Uh, okay. Speaking of uh, 
because Katie's got to run. Let's do this. She says, Katie can't tell a story in 30 seconds. I want to circle back to uh, Derek. Please cue this up. You said you had a nice story from Key West. We're saving it. Uh-huh. We're going to listen to it now. So Derek, you give <clears> her the go. And Katie, I mean, I haven't heard the story before. I was reminiscing about this last yeah, night. Yeah, I didn't know you've been to Key West. This is fun. We're... I feel like maybe just like there's a lot of places you're like, I didn't know you lived there or went there. And I feel like we probably have talked about it. But, no, um, no. 30, 29, oh man, okay. 28, 27, 26, My friend Maggie, 25. The best one of the story is when we were leaving. We decided we didn't need a hotel room um, for the night we were going to go drive back to Miami. But that day we went snorkeling. Sort of 15, we don't need. 14, <laughs> that day we went snorkeling and we realized we had no hotel room 10, to shower. Nine, so we thought, eight, okay, maybe we should just shower seven, on the boat. So we asked six, the people who five, were the captain four, on the boat if we could use three, their shower. And he gave two, us soap and we just showered one, with our baby zero. suits. And then- <laughs> I love that you always stop at zero. You do honor the countdown. I yeah, appreciate she that. does respect <laughs> it. That's it. We're done. We're done. Uh, no base. You- I mean, so. It's a pretty intriguing story, huh? It's just so amazing how impossible it is for you. I'd just be like, my friend I was Maggie. In QS, my friend Maggie, we didn't have a hotel, so we had to shower in a boat. We had to fly. Then what? And she's like, we, we did, yeah, we had to fly. We were going to leave oh, the wow. next it's day, crazy. but that night we needed a hotel, but to fly we, to we, Miami. We didn't have one, but we needed one because of the shower. Wow. So we were on a boat. Oh, wow. that never gets old. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Katie. Was there any yeah. more? Um, what was the end? What? So we quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we ended up like getting as clean as we could, and then we went and had dinner, and then drove from Key West to Miami overnight. So we did the that seven mile oh. bridge like overnight. Got to the airport, and then slept in the airport for a few hours on the floor before Dang. boarding our flight. It's like a classic like 22 year old trip. Mm. I think it's good you remind people of those stories because they probably see you now like, oh, she's this like model pageant girl, Southern girl. But no, you used to shower on men's boats Boats. and (laughs) sleep on the airport floor (laughs) and worked at McDonald's. That's right. Those are good reminders. Woman of the people. Yeah. Uh, Okay. Well, you should have the airport floor (laughs) sleeping patch. (laughs) (laughs) Very gross. Very gross. Um, Uh, Okay. Well, thank you. mm -hmm. She's got. Katie Thomas, Kennedy. Katie Kennedy. Thomas is getting another shot. Is that going to affect our night? It might. Oh, how many oh. shots? Which vaccine yeah. is it? Um, the we weren't super confident in the Moderna. So we got we saw the Kelsey ad, so we're getting <laughs> five. Oh my gosh! So he's getting this will be his third Pfizer. <laughs> <laughs> we're um, play the. All right, we got a couple more fan stuff. Again, emails correct at tracking uh, What do we? Let's play the voice memo. Oh, you got the video queued up? That's fine. Let's see what's going I'm on. I'm pumped to see this like landscape orientation yeah, video. I appreciate this. Oh, yeah. This woman really feels Okay, like- I'm going to try to be real quick for the one minute limit. My name's Kimmy. I'm in the Kansas City area. What's up? Oh, um, okay, an idea for a video for you guys could be to do parenting styles of sheltered and not sheltered. Oh. I think that'd be really funny. My husband and I grew up, he's more sheltered. I was not, but now we parent differently. We parent opposite of that. So I think that could be a fun little skit to do um, a little bit. And then also another idea could be if parents actually listen to their own rules that they give their kids, like how much sweets and screen time they should have. Because as a parent, you know, I'm sneaking my chocolates in the middle of the day. And I got to watch correct opinions at some point. So that usually happens while they're playing or while I'm doing the dishes and they're playing outside. You know, that's good too. All right. 10 seconds here. September 6th, my husband and I will be at the live podcast for my birthday. Pumped about that. So, um, yeah. See you guys there. Did it in less than a minute. Peace. Oh, thanks, Gibbs. She was at the live podcast. Wow. Catch up on these. She, uh, thank you for coming. That was very fun. Thank you for listening every week. That's right. You send in your videos. We might listen to them that week. We might listen to them later. Yeah, might listen to them a couple years. We've been now. gone a lot, and we're getting caught up on podcast. Thank you, um, Kimbo. You're you're in. Um, what's I say? You're in good shape. You're in luck. You're luck. That's what I'm trying to think of. You're nice. luck. Uh, Gene Schwartz. We made a video nine months ago called "Helicopter Mom versus Free Spirit Mom." So banger. Go check it out. That uh, yeah, check it out. We got that, yeah. I'm sure you experienced a lot of that hypocrite. Don't watch the screen. Yeah, so you're like I want. I'm on screen time's screen big. Five hours a yep. day. Yeah, it's the screen time. Derek with the that? vegetables. Do you notice? <laughs> oh this? yeah, yeah. Eat your vegetables. <laughs> Eat your vegetables. <laughs> Why aren't you, Dad? Yeah. I ate them earlier. I eat them. <laughs> I eat them every morning before you get up. Do you 
Is the screen time really bad for the kids? Like, if they do too much screen time, are they monsters? They turn into monsters. So wow. we really do limit to, like, What do you think that does to their nothing. brain? They're just like, I want more. They just love it so much. It does the same to our brains, probably, too. Right. We just <laughs> persevere through it, I guess. Uh, yeah. You know, I did flip a switch a while back. I was like, I'm just going to... I'm just going to get after these screens and I think I'll be fine. <laughs> that was it. I remember I, I came into the studio and you just had like an armful of iPads. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to try to get my screen time up. <laughs> get it up, dude. This is the future. <laughs> yeah. Nine hours, I can do way better. Mm-hmm. Those are rookie numbers. Rookie. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Um, no one ever talks about trying to get their screen time up. That, yeah. <laughs> that should be a thing. Only six hours a day, dude? Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? How do you, get, how do you make a living? My screen time is awful. I, oh, I need to spend one more time on TikTok. Keep going. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for being a fan. Thanks for coming to Live Pod. It was fun. It's, it's, let's hit one more message. Email us. Correct at tracking.com. Let us know what's going on. Well, that could be a, a good video. How parent people parent. But I don't know. I grew up pretty strict. I feel like I'm going to keep it going. Are you going to parent the same way you were parented? Do the opposite. It's. I love thinking about parenting. And I love just reminding myself, hey, it probably doesn't matter what you think right now because um, you yeah. don't have a kid yet. Exactly. I th- I will say I am quick as a non-parent to get annoyed at like um, how I will say you and Katie do a great job of this from what I can tell. Uh, but like new parents treating their newborn like they walk on water, like they are the most advanced kid you've ever seen, mm. like they can do no wrong. I think I see those patterns and I think, all right, well, I, I don't want to be that. And I'm sure For it gets sure. tough once you have the kid to not do that. But that's one of the things where I'm like, all right, I need, I got to keep myself in check. He's not going to the NBA. He's not yeah. the most advanced, gifted kid ever. And He's I probably just developing normally. I think that of all, all the people I've ever seen or known or, you know, not even known personally, but seen online or whatever, the extremes of like way too strict or way too lenient, lenient, the way too strict turn out way better. I mean, they probably need like a lot of better help sessions, but <laughs> I don't know. I've never, you ever heard of like a. Gary Vee type guys like my parents let me do anything I wanted all the time. <laughs> no, they're like my dad woke me up at 4 a.m. and made me, you know, Michael Jackson's dad, Aldragasi's dad. It's fair. Guys, yeah. If you're gonna like skew one way slightly, it's probably better to be slightly strict than like I was probably exactly. a little too lenient with them. Yeah. You got into some serious issues. Yeah. yeah. That's a good word. Oh, hit him. <laughs> hit him. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> kidding. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's listen to this. Okay. Hey, Trey, Jake, Katie, Family Man Derek, hey. and actually not Thomas for this one because it's a little bit PG-13. Oh, it's about the tooth fairy. Uh, uh, my name is up. Martha, and I am calling to share a sheltered kid moment that I just had Let's go. a couple JC weeks ago. Um, <laughs> I saw my neighbor across the street, and I asked her how her weekend went, and she said, oh, my gosh, I had the most fun. And then she proceeded to say a sentence so quickly that I didn't really piece together all that she said, and I just kind of nodded along and agreed to see (laughs) photos of something without realizing what she was saying. She said, last night, my friend and I went to a male review show for her birthday, and it was Uh, super fun. Want to see pictures? (laughs) I'm a fellow shelter kid. I'd never heard of a male review show before. <laughs> the first thing that pops like into the my mail head man? is male as in M-A-I-L. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> Shelter kid. Like stamps and, and letters. <laughs> and so I just so quickly, she asked this question. I said, oh, yeah, sure. Next thing I know, I am looking at a picture and videos of my neighbor getting a lap dance because no, she did not spend her Saturday <laughs> evening at the post office. Like here's his package. Them reviewing <laughs> mail and packages. It's overnight delivery. <laughs> kind of packages. She was at a strip club. <laughs> mail review show is a stripper That's show. Right. And there I, I was realizing I'll never be able to erase this from my mind. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I love the pod. Thanks for all the laughs. Thanks, Bye-bye. Martha. That's an excellent story. Martha. Martha. That's great. Mail and review. I'm like a shelter kid, too. I haven't heard of it. I've never heard it phrased that way. I feel like I've seen it in print because it's spelled like R E V U E. Yeah. But I don't know if I totally knew what it was either. Mail That's review. Funny. Yeah. Yeah. She thinks, oh, stamps yeah. price go you up. You collect stamps, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, show me pictures. I'm still looking for that bicentennial one. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's by all right. Oh my goodness. It's so funny to even like the neighbor's perspective. Like, yeah, I went to this strip club last night, got a lap dance. Want to see? Yeah. Want to see? I have proof. Look. That's strange. Sharon took photos. Look, we, there's me. We've got you a. You can barely see me. Talk about being shelter. We've got a friend, or I'm sorry, a neighbor who, uh, you know, weed. Stay off the weed. The marijuana <laughs> is legal in our state now. Uh, you just walk, waltz anywhere and buy it, and man, the neighbors do. And they... <laughs> They're supporting the economy. They get after it, and it's just funny. And it's, I guess it is what it is. It's not that bad, but you know, random parts throughout the week, you get a big old whiff, and you're kind of like, they're getting after it over there, and yeah, Katie's... Right. Bulldog. It's just a problem. It's all so bad. Shelter kids, man. I went to the Chiefs game yesterday, two days ago, I guess, and um, first of all, sitting in the very top row. You ever sat at the top row of anything? <laughs> I think I have. Yeah, I have. You know, you're like cheapest. I just want to be there. Cheapest ever. So yeah. The very top row. It's, it's... With football, it's not a bad seat. You can mm-hmm. still see what's going on. But the people sitting next to me, I mean, they got done smoking weed 30 seconds before they sat down, I feel like. I mean, I feel For like sure. a smoke was still coming out of his hoodie or something. Mm-hmm. It was like, how did you pull this off? It was so, it was, that is it the was one quite part. dank. Yeah, when you buy the cheap seats, you don't, you're like, I'll see the game. I don't care. But you forget the who, client who else is buying cheap seats. <laughs> It's Play a certain type Southwest. of person. Play home from Southwest. I definitely got a contact high. So. Yeah. <laughs> Southwest will do it. But uh, yeah, I remember I, I last Chiefs game I went to. Not the last one. One of the ones I went to years ago where we were, you know, we were young and just like, get us up top. We don't care. Yeah. I had one, not one, but two drunk people topple on top of me. Oh my like, God. like stumble and fall down five or six rows. And like, I was the one who stopped them. I remember the first time I was Brick just like, wall. what's happening? Some person, stu- you know, they'd stumble up out of the-, the second time it happened. I like, I like, it was like, I was in the game. I was like, get off. I give them a shoulder. You know, that's, what's fun too. When people are that drunk, you can kind of just like shove them down. They, they, they don't need know. it. They laugh. <laughs> um, yeah, it gets wild up top of the games. You got to be careful. It's scary. I feel like that's when people are the drunkest. That's when they have the most to oh, lose no, no, or the least amount to lose. <laughs> yeah. You know, they'll just do anything. They really it's, will. It's, you get opposing fans there. Because you fighting. went with opposing fans getting after you or not too bad? No, it was very civil. Oh, Honestly, nice. if anything, there were a few Chiefs fans there. I was like, hey, chill. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You're making us look bad. Making us, yeah, just like. Someone who, you know, is like a section over, but I can hear every conversation she's having the whole game. It's like, that is impressive. Do you take pride in, uh, or do you, one of these people, you're like, hey, mate, you're representing us as a whole, okay? <laughs> Come on. It's bigger than you. Do you, do you get passionate about that? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Some I think people I- <laughs> do, right? You you go into town, and uh, when you're a posing fan, and people, some are mean, but some are, it's almost worse when they're so nice, when they're hey, like, just want to welcome you to our stadium. Hey. That's like they own part <laughs> yeah. of it. Like, welcome to Minnesota. We hope you enjoy your time. Listen, listen. I know we're playing against you today, but I wish you nothing but the best. Have a good time. And you're like, okay, what are you, the mayor? Leave me alone. <laughs> they do have a guy. So I, I was the opposing fan. I was at the Viking Stadium, and outside of the gate we went in, I feel like they have a guy. He has like a little name tag. He's just like Vikings ambassador, and his job is just to like schmooze people walking in. He's just standing there like arms you know, by his side and just kind of like, hey, welcome to the game. Hope you have a, I hope you have a like great Life experience today. Or something, yeah. yeah, he's like a greeter. High five, man. Give me a high five. Yeah. He was like talking to Rachel's dad. And of course, Rachel's dad just like, just the nicest yeah, part. Well, they had a 10-minute well, conversation. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, you right. have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just having a full-on conversation. Hey, welcome to the game today. Hey, thank you. Hope you have a good day too. Wow. Well, I'll be. I, that's so nice of you to stand here and welcome me to the stadium. Well, yeah, I hope you have a good day. Well, th- you too. You know, it's awesome. <laughs> I love I love that innocence because I'm like this guy's getting paid. You just walk into Walmart, the greeter's like, "Hello, how are you doing?" You're like, "Not enough people say that." Wow, what's your name? <laughs> Take time out of your up. day. He's like, oh, "I get paid to do this." Uh, but you get some Golden Bachelor. Get him be a Walmart greeter. Yeah, I'm gonna hit up the Golden Bachelor. I want to play pickleball with him. Yep, get him on the channel. Uh, okay, what do we? How long have we been going? I don't even pay attention. Fifty nine minutes. Fifty nine minutes. Um, Fifty nine. 59. Ooh, I was gonna get this. I forgot. I forgot to plug in my fun sound. Oh, okay, okay. Because I let's let's wrap up with another segment. We had to do off. one early. Go off, King. But uh, we need to get to some triggered because uh, I did I hint at it a little bit. recently. But boy, did I have a rough journey. We had a we had to fly from Phoenix to Long Beach, California, delayed three four hours due to fog. So we were just chilling in an airport. Kim trails, whatever, probably. is fine. Not great. 
Kim Jong-un. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then got delayed again, so. Good speaker. It's my trigger. Thank you. And I got delayed going home. Oh, there's nothing worse than the get home flight. So I had a direct flight, which I was so great. Long Beach to Kansas City. Why is that a flight? It blows my mind. Yeah, because we fired can't. Up. We can't get to Tucson direct. We can't no. get to West Palm Beach direct. So I had like an eight thirty flight. Get home at one thirty. Get. I had all my friends coming over. We watched the Chiefs at three thirty. Oh, it was, oh, it was just like great day. What a great way to like wrap up a, a nice weekend of shows. And we get there. It's doing this uh, very annoying five minutes at a time. Mm -hmm. Eight. We're supposed to take off at eight forty five. It's now eight fifty. Eight fifty five. Nine. Not a good Nine sign. Of, I swear they they bumped up five minutes incrementally for ninety minutes total. That's what Isaac was texting me. He's like another five minutes. We just got delayed another five minutes. So How's I that happening? I found a cool website called flightaware.com. Plug if you want it, and you can find because I was like, where's the plane we're supposed to get on? Because I'm not seeing it. So I find this website where it tracks it, and I see they're they're adding five minutes because this plane has been hovering over Long Beach for an hour due to the fog. Uh. So I feel like I'm pretty sensible. Some of these people get fired like. They're furious. I'm like, it's fog. Where is it? No, no one's fault. <laughs> like, you can't. I'm going to call Southwest. Like, it's a Mother Nature's they fault. They need to be able to see the ground. So I'm like, you know, it is what it is, but it looks like it's clearing. Okay, okay. But then when I did get ticked, I see the plane gets rerouted to another airport like an hour away. So that. They gave up. They gave up. So now I'm. Quitters. Of course, I want I want explanation, but what are they. No, no one here is going to explain anything yeah. to me. So then it just pops up like two hours. You realize like they've got to fully like figure this out, get this plane back here. So I just settle in at Long Beach, find a nice seat, Long Beach, nice weather, outdoor airport. Okay. It is I'm kind watching of cool football there. on my laptop outdoors. You know, I'm trying to, could be worse. We sit at this nice seat. And, like they walk up, like hand me a menu. I was like, oh, I'm not ordering anything. Like you have to, it's a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And you, this airport has 10 gates. There's <laughs> maybe a few tables. I'm at one of them. There's no one at this restaurant. So I, I immediately was just like, what? So then I was like, I thought this would be a cool kind of annoying thing to do. I'm just going to order one, the, the $3 side. Can I get one dumpling? Yeah. So I was like, that's what I'm going to do. So she kind of walks away and leaves us there for probably 30 minutes. And the manager walks out. You can't be here. I was like, well, I'd like to order something. Uh -huh. Like, okay. I was like, I'll have the side of fruit. She's like, we don't have fruit today. <laughs> I was just like, it's in the is fog. This a joke. Yeah, <laughs> you took not an ounce of fruit back there. You're running a breakfast restaurant. So I ordered a yeah. Me and Derek had a toast. I remember the girl because he sat with me too. He's like, ordered toast. Yeah, what'd she say to you? She, do you want anything to drink? And I was like, uh, no. So you're gonna have dry toast with, with nothing to drink? <laughs> <laughs> she just manhandled into yeah. getting water. Okay. You're gonna drink water. I was trying to water. make it easier on her because I wasn't gonna order right. a lot where she. That's you know, funny. A big tip, but like you're just gonna dry rub toast. <laughs> yeah. Gross. <Ugh. laughs> um, and then you get finally get on the flight, and you know flights these days you can log on and watch TV, which is nice. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I'll watch the Chiefs game on there. But when you know we're West Coast, so I'm getting. <laughs> The regional like Broncos, Jets. Like you're flying right above Denver. I assume you yeah. must be a huge Broncos fan. It was funny as we got past Colorado, close to Kansas City. I'm like refreshing. Like, are they going like, to switch? Yeah. No, it didn't. Ah. it's a long day, man. But uh, my flight was at 6 a.m. out of LAX. And that all went smoothly. So it did go smoothly. I had to schedule an Uber for 4:25 a.m. though to to get up there and get to my flight. So it was a long day. But on the plane, I got was to that watch like a three and a half hour flight. Dude, I don't know. It felt like forever. Yeah. It was a long flight, uh, LAX to Minneapolis. Uh, I feel like I've never watched a London football game because they're always on so early. But I forget about them every time. Yeah, on the plane, got to watch some of the London game. Not Worked too out. Bad. But my uh, air traffic <laughs> triggered. flight triggered is going to be people who um, just want to see clouds. People who've never seen clouds before and at 6 a.m yeah just the sun is up it is very bright and they are just letting i mean god's holy spirit in that plane i mean it is a completely dark plane except for the guy sitting right next to me across Ooh. the aisle he's like hey i've never seen the sunshine before i feel like it's mag it looks like a solar eclipse I coming think, through that window i think 8 a.m is the cutoff for me if it's earlier than that i understand 8 a.m you're up for the day it's normal working hours but earlier than that people you know people want some shut eye it's a dark flight I think in general, why do you why do you ever need it open? I like sun. Two p.m. Just it's like an hour flight in the afternoon. You want them all shut? Complete dark. Sure. Climate control. 
I get that. Some people view the plane as a real nice nap place. I don't know. I'm not a window guy. So you can, Hey mate, don't come at me. I'm an aisle guy. I've never touched or controlled a window. That is my big thing. That's why I like the window. I like being a troll. Mm. Like, all right, I can't speak for you guys across the aisle, but here, here's we another have darkness. If we do, do the whole, we travel and sorry if you don't ride on planes, but I'm diving it. If you're a window guy, I'm an aisle guy. Do you agree? If you lock in on a window seat and if this, if this, Plane ride's only a couple hours. You agree to not go to the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah We're yeah. on a two hour flight. Yeah. You go window. I'm aisle. I, and I get, you know, I get set. I got my tray down. I get a nice, you know, give me a nice little made cup of coffee. iPads out. I'm working. Can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> <Type of that. laughs> no, I want to be like, no, dude, we landed 45 minutes. You pick that seat. That's why I go aisle. Cause I'm a peer. I'm a hydrator. I'm a peer. Yeah. yeah. I pee Smart. on a lot of flights. The nightmare to have to be like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Especially Southwest, because you can control it. You're, like you're, you could have. Yeah. I judge anyone under 50 going to the bathroom at all on a plane. I feel like <laughs> you should be able to hold it from start to finish. Go right before get, the flight. I, and I, I've the never, woman, it was like a three hour, three plus hour flight home. And the woman, I, that wasn't that bad. I mean, I, we should, you, to be honest, you should be peeing at least every three hours. <laughs> but quick flight, you can't be doing this. I feel like it takes a lot of courage, too, for that person to see you just fully set up. You've got a work-from-home setup she, going on. Drink, laptop, it that's still lasts. better. She was like, you could tell if she was heartbroken to ask me this. She's <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm like, under, it's a long flight, long, long delayed experience, I understand. Um, but <laughs> Speaking of airplanes, just real quick, I just thought of, I guess I won't say who. We're at a really nice steak dinner one night this past weekend on the road. For some reason, I don't know where Trey asked one person on the team, hey, what's your most embarrassing story? And he tells us a story of when he, just long story short, had really had to go to the bathroom on a plane. And for some reason, um, he's trying to flush the toilet when he's done. And he realizes his hat had fallen into the toilet and he had crapped and peed all over in his hat. <laughs> <laughs> and he said when when he started going to the bathroom, they were still near. But by the time it was said and done, the plane had landed. And they were like trying to get him out of there. And he did like throw away his hat. Just imagine. <laughs> yeah. You gotta pay pay attention to people going to the bathroom. You see a guy walk in with a hat and walk out with one. Walk out like, with his hood on. What happened to that hat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. To go to the bathroom in your hat. In the toilet is so funny. And then have to like paper towel it into the trash. How does the hat even get in there that happens to you do you just leave the hat in the toilet like to someone else's problem that is weird guys somebody's hats in there <laughs> that's crazy i don't know who did that that's too bad <laughs> that was a great story and the final trigger that why well, i'm just going i mentioned the girl with the blue hair it wasn't because she had blue hair southwest you line up like in order with your numbers yeah what drives me nuts people people want to Nail this 100%. Yeah. Which, which one? Yeah. Are you, I'm A22. Are you? Kind of are you I just I, I, go ahead of me. I don't care. <laughs> as long as we're like somewhere near. Which one? Which one are you? I'm. Oh, you're that? You go ahead. That drives me nuts. <laughs> that is a good one. That's probably comes with like Bro, you taking got, 50 Southwest flights per year. Exactly. But when you're like somewhere, like I'll maybe accidentally go ahead of someone. The big, oh, I'm 20. You go ahead, man. What, I'm going <laughs> to steal your... There's 200 seats on this plane. You guys are in the A section, though. When you're in the late Bs, those you last numbers <laughs> yeah. mean a lot. Every every so, number counts back that's there. That's a good point. Maybe yeah. up in the A's, we have some some B and C yeah. people. They haven't been there before. They got to learn the ropes of the A. Hey, if you're an A, we're good. You're getting a window seat. Worth, you're you getting get whatever you want. It's, it's, yeah, it's like... Uh, this is like a Hunger Games, you know? You're back there in <laughs> District 12, fine for your life. Yeah. Up here, we're fine. Just, we're fine. Oh, chasing after that cornucopia yeah. just trying to get there first <laughs> my uh anti-triggered from when it comes to airplanes uh i don't know if we ever talked about this but the guy who uh nick who sent us a video was like hey when you're in charleston hop in my plane i did hop in his plane yeah. so oh, cool. um shout out Smooth nick flying it was great we were up there for like an hour he took us over the beach over like this really nice golf course over our venue that we're performing at it was all really cool really took us to this island <laughs> <laughs> he made me cool. sign something to, like to fly in the plane. I don't know, whatever NDA. I was like, I don't care. Yeah, yeah like, something for national domestic airline. I don't know. And um, <laughs> anyway, no, it was really fun. And uh, he was saying, oh, when it comes to all these delays and everything, I was like, yeah, I've heard like air traffic controllers are like at a you know scarcity, and that's why these flights are getting delayed. And he's like, yeah, dude, they keep like upping the salary, and people still like keep quitting and just like don't want to do it job. yeah they just don't have enough talent or whatever but they're like yeah they're offering like 
two hundred thousand dollar salary just to be a traffic controller, and they still can't get enough people guy to do basically it. to just like scout like you're good to land six now. five zero Lima Alpha squawking. <laughs> yeah, I learned like that, that you say squawking a lot because when you flown his little plane, was he talking to somebody somewhere? Like yeah, we all had headphones this? on. I could hear it. What they're just like, hey, I'm up here flying, just so you know. Just FYI, I'm about to take off, and here's the name of my plane. Here's what I'm doing. I guess it'd, it'd be very illegal to just take off without telling them. Yeah, I think yeah. even if you're a private private jet, you still gotta tell people. Sure. Probably Breaking, good. Probably good rule. I think. Breaking Bad scared people from that job. I support I like. it. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought of. Like, oh, Jane's dad. Uh. All right. Uh, thank you all again for a great episode. Every Wednesday. We drop one. In we a, do this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys. Come out. Many more shows ahead. A lot announced. Thanks for all love in 2024. And uh, subscribe. Follow us. Appreciate it. Peace. Correct opinion.